Yo, world. It's morning time in San Diego, California. Um, you're there. I'm here. You are an unlimited spiritual being. You're having a temporary human experience. You are the living light of God. You are the only power here, there, and everywhere. And everything's okay. Everything is okay. We're at home in God right now. We're at home in the one thing, the one peace, the one power, the one presence. There's only one thing. There's only a field of light. We're individualized expressions of the field of light, swimming through the field of light in everything we do. Everything is fine. Everything is fine right now. We can perceive it to be otherwise, but everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's all fine. I may not agree sometimes, but it just is. What are you going to do? You can't change it unless you can. And uh, if you can't, surrender. Whatever. What are we going to do, man? Where's our thoughts? Where's our minds? What are we thinking about? What are we focusing on? What are we giving our attention to? Where are we right now? Where are we right now? In consciousness. Because where you are in consciousness is where you truly are. So where I am in my head, in my thoughts, in the feelings I'm feeling in my heart, is where I live. It's where I'm dwelling. No matter where I am, geographically, whatever, where I am in my head and in my heart is where I truly am. And I am in charge of what I think, and I am in charge of what I feel. I am in charge of how I react to the world around me. I have 100% of the power in my thoughts and in my feelings. I am the director of my thoughts and my feelings. And that's how I create my reality, because of how I think and how I feel. So if I think and feel with intention, then I can direct my reality on my intended course, onto my intended course. All right. So, <clears throat> as the madness is going on around me, I mean, it's not really madness, it's fine, it's just life, whatever. As the world is happening around me, as psh, 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 it's all going on, my, my thoughts, and then, okay, I want to say my thoughts and my feelings, but my feelings are kind of the thing that comes after my thinking. You know, I sort of think and think and think over and over again, and then it inspires the feelings that I feel. And so I want to be thinking in a particular direction so that I can inspire the feelings that I want to be feeling. And I want to be feeling unlimited. I want to be feeling completely free. I want to be feeling completely supported. I want to be feeling completely safe. I want to be feeling completely loved. Loved beyond anything around me, beyond any physical like person or circumstance, but loved by the life force by everything around me. I'm in a field of light right now. I'm just laying, basking in a field of light. And the field loves me. The field of light loves me. And I want to feel that love in every particle that makes up my body. Every atom and molecule that I am is an expression of the field, a loving expression of the field. The field gives rise to the particles that make up the atoms, that make up the molecules, that make up our body, because it loves to do so. If it didn't love to do so, it wouldn't do anything. Because the field doesn't do anything it doesn't love to do. It just is. Love is. So, oh, expression, creation. And so, because that's true, I want to feel that in everything I am and everything I do. And so, as I'm moving through my day, and the thoughts are going on in my mind, all my life programming of how I'm not good enough, and like, I'm not doing it right, and everyone's judging me because I'm not doing it right, and they don't think I'm doing it right, and um, my life should be different and better, I should be different and better, doesn't matter what my measure of that is, different and better, and uh, so those are like the subtle feelings that want to be where I'm coming from all the time, because that's the way it's been all my life, you know, that's you're not worthy, you're not good enough, oh, uh, just running that kind of programming, and uh, I don't want that anymore, dude, that is not serving me, I want freedom, I want love, I want knowing that I'm supported, and that I'm loved, and that, dude, I'm an individualized expression of God, I am the totality of the universe in a human body, in this human body, in this heart, in the center of my heart, there is like a, a flame, a candle, a piece of light burning. 
And that piece of light is the presence of God. And that piece of light exists in every particle in my entire body. So, I'm a center for divine consciousness. I'm a center of the totality of the divine presence, which is everywhere. Word. I'm a center of it, all right? I am a heart of it. We're all hearts of it, you know? It's individualized, it's, it's individualized itself as each one of us. Word, all right? So I am that right now. So, all day, as the subtle programming is coming up and it's telling me how much I'm not worthy and not good enough, my mind is going back to that fact. Dude, the presence of God is with me. I am the living light. I am the presence of God. I'm everywhere. God is in everything. Therefore, God's in me. God's in everything. Therefore, God is in me. I'm at home in God right now. There's only the field of light. The field of light has individualized, express, it has individualized itself as me. Running that, thought, that thinking all day long, I mean, I'm pretty consistent with it because, you know, your attention is everything. You are where you think you are. And so what are you thinking? Where do you think you are? If you think you are at home in God, then surely if you run that line of thinking from now on for like, give it a year, psh, something cool has got to happen. And that's sort of my line of thinking, my intention is this is just what I'm doing from now on, dude. I'm going to think in this direction from now on and whatever happens will happen. I don't know. Maybe we'll ascend. I don't really care what happens. I just like thinking about it right now. It feels way better than thinking I'm not good enough, thinking I'm doing it wrong. That is stupid. That's a waste of my attention energy. That's a waste of my thinking. That only makes me feel worse. And we know what happens when we think in our bodies, all kinds of chemical processes happen that degrade our bodies and deteriorate our bodies on a cellular level. It's a scientific fact. So why wouldn't I think loving, uplifting thoughts? Because it's a scientific fact that loving, uplifting thoughts contribute to a healthier body, healthier chemical processes. It's not not happening, it's the way it is. So I'm gonna come from that. And uh, where else would I put my attention? What else would I do with my time? What else would I do with my thoughts? I'm the driver, God's in charge, but I'm the driver, I'm sort of steering my little world, my vehicle, my human vessel. So I'm going to steer it down the path of unconditional love and acceptance of all that I am. I am perfect. I'm whole. I'm complete in this moment. I don't have to change. Everything is fine. I'm at home in God. God loves me more than I can imagine. And I want to understand what that means. And I'm moving in that direction. Try that line of thinking if you're judging yourself. Maybe there will be some relief. So that's my offering for the day. Peace and blessings.